Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. Today is January second, twenty twenty-three. I hope you all had a great New Year. This is my first video for twenty twenty-three. I hope you can enjoy it. Keep watching my channel and give me support. In this episode, I'm gonna show you a fancy. New feature from Windows 2022 Azure Edition, which is SMB over Quick. Previously, I showed you another way to bypassing blocked 445 port to mount Azure Cloud FileShares. As we know, legacy SMB port TCP 445 usually blocked by your ISP. If you want to mount it and the files cross internet, it won't work. My previous video and blog post showed you a easy way to change port four four five to a different port, so bypassing that blocking policy rule from your ISP. So if, if you are interested on that method, you can take a look the video descriptions link. And find out this video, and get this workaround to make your 445 FileShare mounting working. In this video, I'm gonna show you a new way to do this FileShare mounting, which is new feature coming out from November 2021 when Microsoft release Windows 2022 Azure Edition. SMB over Quick has built-in enabled, and also Windows 11 as a client also supporting SMB over Quick. If you want to know more details, steps, scripts, commands, check out this blog post, which you will find the link in this video description as well. Now let's go through all steps one by one in this video. I'm gonna show you how. This working. This is the topology I'm gonna use in today's lab.、Um, in a new environment, I'm gonna create a file share using Windows 2022 Azure Edition SMB server, and of course, I'm gonna configure it properly to support this SMB or Quick. On Windows 11, I'm gonna use in Another region's VM to try to connect into it over internet. I'm gonna block TCP 445 and allow only UDP 443 to confirm this SMB over Quick gonna work. In to make things much simpler and easier for normal user, which you are sitting at home, there's no AD, there's no Your own certificate infrastructure, PKI infrastructure. I'm gonna use a work group. So Microsoft document may suggest you to join a domain, and then using Active Directory certificate server, and they even showed you how to install server certificate. That's too much for a normal home user. So in my lab, I'm gonna just show you how to use a work group, and we are not gonna use a Windows Admin Center. No need it. We are not gonna create our own CA server. Also, on the Windows 11 side, we don't have to to make any changes, like I showed you before the work around. So all will be simple use case. And everyone, anyone, can use it in this way. I'm gonna create、uh, two virtual machines in two different zones. One is Windows 2022 Azure Edition server. One is Windows 11 as a testing server. To make video shorter, I'm gonna mute it. I'm gonna play. Two times or four times faster to make 
this video is much much shorter and then you can skip it if you know how to create those virtual machines. Now we have our two Windows machines ready. Windows 2022 Azure Edition Server will be our SMB server. Windows 11 gonna be our client server to access Windows 2022 SMB server using protocol SMB over quick UDP443. We will block TCP445. Also, Windows 2022 will be acting as this host quick.bestit.eu.org we need to create this domain record from our domain provider i'm using cloudflare to manage up my dns record so basically we're gonna add one record name is quick and the IP address will be our server's IP address. You don't need to use proxy here because we want to resolve to the real IP address when you are accessing quick.bestit.eu.org this host name. Save it. Also, we're gonna block TCP 445 and allow UDP 443. So Let's go back to Windows 2022, go to networking. By default, 3389 has been enabled, allowed. That's why we can RTP to it. So we're gonna add inbound lure. We're 
gonna do 443 UDP allow also we're gonna block 445 TCP deny since 310 has been used we're gonna use 320 300 RTP 310 for SMB over quick UDP 443 and block TCP 445 now all requirements has been completed we can go back to our Windows 2022 Azure Edition server to configure SMB over quick to use a certificate we don't have certificate yet but we can uh, apply one so now let's go back to server before we start any steps we want to check the configurations by default SMB over quick has been enabled there's just no certificate associated with SMB over quick so we can check SMB server configuration let's go to the PowerShell quickly get those uh, configuration settings for example enable SMB quick is true and also disable SMB encryption is also true so those settings can confirm we already have SMB quick enabled by default but we don't have our certificate associate or mapping to this so that's what we gonna do is gonna check the mapping get SMB server certificate mapping right now empty nothing here so that is exactly what we want to see now we're gonna get a certificate we don't have our CA server we can use those free public certificate server to get one trusted certificate for this machine so we're gonna download win ACME this package and uh, get the certificate we're gonna extract it we're gonna extract to a folder win ACME and I'm gonna move this folder to the root folder of C double click WACS.exe file so we're gonna create a certificate but we're gonna use full options so let me can use M so this is a wizard you just uh, need to follow the options I'm doing here then you should be able to get it done properly so manual input and also they are just asking your host name so for demo purpose I already using quick before in this case I'm gonna create another record SMB we call it we're gonna use the same IP no proxy save so we're gonna use SMB dot bested And friendly name, of course, we're gonna accept it. Um, the verification, create a verification record manually. Number six, we're gonna use an RSA key for encryption key. We're gonna store in the Windows certificate store. Number four, default location no additional store steps here is an interesting part so since we selected the manual verification so we're gonna get this TST record requirement for verification you own smb.pasted.eu.org 
that simple. We're going to create this record in our cloud flare. So we copy the record name, add record, TST record, and then we need to copy the content. You don't need a quote. Without a quote, you put the content in. Then save it. So after we create it, we know we have this record. Then enter. So we will see validation succeeded. And once it's valid, and then you can delete it. Once you delete it, just press enter again. So now let's download the certificate, store the certificate, and install the certificate to the certificate store. All are good. Now we can verify this certificate. SMB dot bested.eu.org. Let's quit from here. We can run MMC to get a certificate snapping. This is a computer account and a local computer. Okay, let's go to the personal. So I have two, since I'm doing a lab, I did quick before to verify. So right now we have SMB, so we have both. SMB is a new one, I just created, but of course I also have quick. So in this demo, I'm going to use quick to show, but SMB is just showing how to get the process, how to add txt record and delete it, how to validate your ownership of this domain. Now we have certificate, our um, final small step is map this certificate quick.bested.eu.org to SMB over quick protocol. So basically SMB over quick going to use this quick to do the communication. There are two ways to map a certificate to SMB over Quick. If you look at the Microsoft document, they will suggest using a Windows Admin Center. I'm going to show you a step, but actually it doesn't work that properly. So we first thing we need to install Windows Admin Center. It's going to take a couple of minutes to get it done. At the same time, you need to assign role for the user, which I'm gonna add it right now. Add row assignment. You need to be a Windows Admin Center Administrator group. This login group and select members. So I have successfully installed the uh, Windows Admin Center extension on my Windows 2022 SMB server. So then we can connect to it. At the same time, you can look at the uh, settings. From the control panel, we can see Windows Admin Center has been installed. So from the uh, Admin Center, we can look at the certificate first. Local machine. My. You will see Quick and SMB. Both we just recently installed.
We also can look at the fire and fire shares. Right now, just some default fire shares. We didn't create any new one yet. For the SMB over quick settings, you need to go to settings here. Um, we didn't install SMB one. So file share across internet with SMB over quick. As you can see, SMB over quick is not configured. It's enabled, but not configured. So we do config. So here is problem. I found no matter how I click configure, the page don't come up. I can make the changes here. So this is proper to me. I don't know if any of you experience the same or it's just my machine. I tried a different browser, different machine, I got the same result. No matter how I click configure, it doesn't show up like the page. So but that's fine. So I'm gonna use in the command line to do it. So which is I'm gonna show you the command we're gonna use here. We're gonna put some script here and then we just copy paste but we need to fill in those proper parameters. So first thing we need to get a certain name that we know we're gonna use in quick dot best it dot org and some print we're gonna get it from our certificate details just copy this number and paste in here. My third DNS name to allow is also same subject CN equal quick display name here. That's pretty much everything you want to put in here and then you can just copy whole thing and paste in. Right away we get a result. We also can verify it by a command we get SMB server certificate mapping used to be nothing but now we can see we have this you also can verify from admin center right now we are still sitting on configuration page so let's go back to other pages and then refresh this As you can see, SMP over quick is enabled. Of course, Kerberos TDC proxy is not enabled. We don't need it because we have public certificates or machines. As long as you can connect to internet, you will be able to verify your certificate. And the expiration date, perfect. If you want to add it, no, we can't. So. Anyway, so we are using PowerShell command to map our certificate to the protocol. So now we are going to our last part, which is using our Windows 11 to verify this connection. This is our Windows 11 machine. We already finished the server configuration. We blocked the TCP port 445, also allowed the UDP 443. Windows 11 just need to be start the mapping the file share drive. There's two ways to do that. You can use your file explorer. This PC show more options. Map network drive. Quick dot best it hawk. We didn't create our file share yet. So let's do that. We're gonna use temp folder. We're gonna put them. Um, we're gonna create file, and then we're gonna share this. Test folder. Change it to test folder. Sharing, share, share to administrators. So, done.
pros. You also can verify it from Windows Admin Center, Files and the File Share, File Shares. So we have Test File Shares. Going back to Windows 11 again, one way is using File Explorer. You can map network drive as we typed before here. You can say test finish. Right away. Since we are using same username and password, we can access to it. No problem at all. If you prefer command line, also simple net use star so let me mount to y we have y and z basically the same thing remember we are using UDP 443 that we can verify that from our servers networking 445 has been disabled, denied, and only 443 is allowing. You can verify also, you can verify from Windows 11 machine. We are using 443, 443. How about 445? Maybe they're using 445. Let's see, 445, what result we can get? Nothing. We don't have connection on 445, we have connection on 443. Performance, how it looks like, it's good. Let's give it a try. So we cannot test in performance, we cannot use in task manager and um, to monitoring like Ethernet speed on both ends. We're gonna see our Ethernet throughput. We're gonna copy a 4 gig file, which I'm gonna create in here. We're gonna create it a 4 gig testing file. We're going to create a new folder called test. We're going to rerun the command. We're going to drag our file directly to this shared folder. This is for gig file. So we can, uh, it's going to take us for a while, but it will give us a good result, the performance, how it looks like. It's around 100 Mac BPS, 200 Mac BPS, 237, 238, 39. Similar thing here as well. move this over to here. It's a little bit lagging here since all bandwidth will be used for file transferring. So it's quite consistently sitting around 230 to 20 Mac BPS. From my point of view this is pretty good already. Maybe different VM size can have a little bit of impact to the speed, but around 230 meg BPS, this looks like um, what we're going to get for a quick. Uh, that's all for my this video 
I hope you enjoyed it and got some useful information. Let me know if you have any questions. Other than that, please subscribe my channel. Give me a thumb up for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.